Let the Grim Reaper stand guard this Halloween and nobody will dare take any extra treats. This ghoulish guy is really simple to put together. What you need is you need a few pumpkins for the body, of course, one for the head, some stone textured spray paint like this, and some Grim Reaper accessories. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out how tall do you want your Grim Reaper to be? Probably three or four good sized pumpkins like this are perfect for the body, and then of course you need one for the head. So I've cut off the stems, of my body, since they are gonna be on top of each other, it's best to have the stems gone. And now I'm gonna spray them all with some stone textured spray paint. So when you spray paint, you wanna make sure you do this in a really well ventilated area or outside, because the fumes can be pretty gnarly. So after a few coats of spray paint, once it's dry, you should have pumpkins that look kinda of like this. So now, in order for them to stack on top of each other, I'm actually going to drill a hole in the top and the bottom of the pumpkin using a drill with a hole bit like this. And that way, these can actually go on top of each other around a PVC pipe that you've cut to the height that you want your Grim Reaper to be and stuck in your lawn outside. And the cool thing about these pumpkins you're gonna be using for the body is you don't need to hollow these out. You can leave all the guts in there because you're just gonna be drilling right through it. No big deal. So for the head though, you're gonna wanna hollow this out because we wanna make sure that when the light is in there, it looks really nice and creepy and totally spooky. So what I've done here is I've cut out some eyes and a mouth and used the stem of the pumpkin actually as the Grim Reaper's nose, which is just so like twisted up and just spooky looking. If you don't wanna freehand your own eyes and mouth, you can download a template for his face from bhg.com. So once you've got your stencil transferred onto your pumpkin, just peel it off. So you can see, now I know where I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna take one of these little pumpkin carving tools. These are great little knives because they really get into all the nooks and crannies and you can get these from any pumpkin carving set. So I'm just gonna stick it in there and just start carving. It's kind of like connect the dots, it's super easy. Once you've got your pattern on there, it's no big deal. You may have to cut around it just a few times so that you get the whole thing cut out. And if any of your paint chips while you're cutting, you can always just touch it up when you're done. Ooh, that eye is looking so sinister. So once you've got your eyes and your mouth all cut out, then your face is ready and you're ready to assemble your Grim Reaper. Assemble the pumpkins on the PVC piping and then add the ghoulish garb. Some stick arms, a big black cape, a raven's a nice touch, and of course, a sickle, because no reaper is complete without one.